All right, welcome back. So this time you can see here, we've got the sunglasses there. We've got our typical setup. We've not really changed anything. Uh, just removed the foam board, that's completely fine. But right now, what I'm gonna do is, this is a what not to do shot, because uh, you know you already know that this is gonna result in bad looking reflections, okay? So first of all, let me just take this shot and then let's study it. All right, so this is the shot that we have got using our regular setup and you can just see that this doesn't look good. There's so many things that are going on here. We can see the reflection of the light. Uh, you can kind of see, you know, maybe the foam board and the other things here. And this time I'm slightly lucky that this is not reflecting me back. Okay, otherwise that is also an issue. It's just that the family of angles are too much, is too wide and you're just gonna catch a lot of reflections. So let's see how we can improve this shot. All right, so as seen in the picture before, it was not a bad shot, but we can improve it because the complications can improve when you know you start taking different angles and you just start to see the surroundings because the family of angles is more. So what we have to basically do in order uh, so that, you know, in order to do something so that the surrounding areas don't show is to basically find a way to create like a little tent around your product, okay? And this is where, uh, this accessory called as a light tent is very, very popular, especially when you're shooting uh, small subjects like this. There's also a downside to this, which I'll talk about later. But first of all, uh, you know, let's just see how this basically looks like. So it's, as you can see in front of you, it's nothing but, you know, kind of like a uh, tent made out of diffusion-like material. The diffusion material that you see on the top of the softbox, for example, is something similar translucent. And we basically are gonna be shining the light through this and the product will be kept in the center, okay? This also gets a lot of different accessories like different backgrounds like white, red and other colors that you get along with it that you can put behind but those are usually, they don't do a very good job uh, you know, when you're shooting with a light tent. So I'm gonna exactly be telling you later on what a light tent is good for and what it's not good for which you're gonna find out when we shoot our next product. But for this particular, uh, product like the glasses which are just giving off reflections from a lot of sides something like this can work fantastically well so what we're going to do is we're actually going to be putting a light behind the good off slide that we've been using we're going to just be putting behind you can actually put it on any angle i'm just going to be putting it behind so that we get the shadows of the sunglasses in front and that just looks like really cool as you're going to see okay but this time the best part is that we're not going to have any problems and i know what you must be wondering right now but kush what about the reflection from the front? Now, this is an a fantastic part about a light tent, okay, which I wanna show you. So, uh, this is your camera and you get, even on the front, you get this thing with just, you know, you, there's a Velcro and this attaches. So, this whole thing closes. Now, you must be wondering, Kush, then how do we shoot? That's because we've got a little hole here, like you can see. And through this hole, the camera goes and I'm gonna be showing you how that looks also. So that even from the front, you know, there's basically no reflection there, okay? So this is like a really cool accessory. Let's get started with our shoot. All right, so you can see that I've put the sunglasses there. This time, I've just replaced the plexiglass with a foam board, okay? So we're not basically gonna get uh, an exact reflection of the sunglass because I tried that, it wasn't looking too good, okay? I've just found the uh, slightly rough shadows that this foam board was giving were just looking much, much better than an exact reflection of the sunglass, but that's a very subjective. But basically, you can see the light is behind the light box. You can even have it at any angle. And the best part is you can even have, if you have multiple lights, you can even have them on the sides because every part of this is translucent, okay? Now, the important thing is we are basically going to be closing this down and then putting our camera through this. So let's do that. All right, so I'm all set. I'm just gonna basically peep through this like this. And this is going to be amazing because now there will be absolutely no reflection from any direction. And I can see the sunglasses are looking absolutely perfect through this. The only downside, as you can see here, is I can't use my tripod. I can use my tripod, but it's just slightly more difficult. But that's not such a big deal. We have a lot of light, so the ISO really won't go up here. But you definitely are restricted from an angle point of view. Okay, that is one of the downsides of using a light tent. You just are restricted, restricted by space, okay? Uh, and that is gonna become very evident when I show you the next product, which is gonna be very tough to shoot inside a light tent, okay? But right now, this is cool. What, if, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go inside this camera and just see how things are looking. All right, so this is exactly what my camera is seeing right now. I think this looks so soft and so fantastic. There's literally no bad reflection 
anywhere. The shooting process will remain pretty much the same. So I'm gonna take this shot and then I'm just gonna, we're gonna compare with the last one and we'll find out that this one looks great. So let's do that. All right, so this is the shot that we have got from our light tent and immediately you can see this looks way better than what we had got before. You can see this literally almost no reflections what you're seeing here is like more like the texture of the sunglasses themselves everything just seems soft you can see these top highlights also here they're absolutely diffused so this looks really really soft on the eyes just look at the shadows here this looks beautiful this is the reason i went for the foam board and not uh, for the reflective surface but that is again is subjective but i think overall this looks good and i also just did a bit of this editing to get rid of the uh, you know background I kind of cropped it just to make the background more white just to make this closer and I think this looks absolutely fantastic this just took me like 30 seconds to edit and I'm not really going to show that because I did not really do anything different it was mainly that uh, replace color function so I think this has given us a beautiful shot because if we go all the way back this is what we started off with but here's the thing in the shoot that is just coming up we are going to take things to the next level because we are even going to be shooting a much more difficult product than what we have here okay so what exactly that is you'll see that in the next video i'll see you there bye for now